Hey y'all, hey! I'm LaQuisha at Confident Canvas, and I'm excited to share my morning routine with you. I start my day daily at 6 a.m. to do creative activities. I start by allowing sunlight to enter my home. And of course, I have to feed the cat. I will admit, I have a lot of coffee mugs and I love each and every one of them. It's hard to release them, but they help me start my day with a warm cup of coffee. I drink the same type of coffee every single day. It is a very mild blend of Starbucks coffee that I am able to make at home. I also add a lot of creamer to my coffee. So I guess you could say I'm drinking creamer with a splash of coffee. And of course I have to make sure my cat, Booby, is satisfied or I won't be able to concentrate because she will be meowing in the background. And here, she doesn't even know what she wants. Each night before bed, I try to set up my craft room so that it's ready for me to walk into it with ease and start my journaling process every morning. It is extremely important to me as a faith-based person to pray daily. I actually write my prayers in this journaling Bible. With soft instrumental music playing in the background, I began my process of prayer writing in my journaling Bible. And I am literally giving you a quick flip of some of the pages of what that prayer writing looks like. I love that this Bible keeps a record of my prayer request to God. I have been able to go back and read old prayers written throughout this Bible and see how they have been answered over time. I also understand and recognize that everyone practices their faith differently. However, this is important. Create a routine that works for you and follow it every single day. The only reason I have so many prayers in this Bible is because I am committed to my morning routine, which includes the prayer writing process. After I finish writing my prayer, I grab my journal. In this journal every morning, I write the same five things, which I call five point journaling. The five things that I write every single day are affirmation, scripture, inspirational quote, gratitude, and pondering. I have so many journals filled with this writing style, and it has helped me over time be committed to journal writing every single day because I have a formula to follow. So now I'll show you my process because sometimes my spreads look very elaborate. And many wonder how I'm able to make the time to journal in this way every single day. I'll start by saying that I use a lot of what I have already around me to create my spreads. Here I am using, after I had to peel it back up because I wasn't satisfied with the placement, I'm using some pet tape 
which people normally cut up to use in their art or on paper. I didn't cut this up. I just used the entire strip as a border for the page. The less I did intricately as far as my art, the more I'm able to accomplish in one sitting. I also do think about this before I sit down and try to find some elements and pieces in my craft room that I can use to embellish the page. So today, very simply, I'm using pet washi tape. I'm gonna use a sticker doll. And I'm also gonna use some label stickers that I found that match the color scheme of the images that are already on the page. I pulled out this sticker book, which was close by, and I knew it had stickers that kind of matched this color scheme. And I just searched through the book for some stickers that kind of matched and that I could place in some of the small areas. One of the five points that I write is a quote, and so I decided to use one of the quote stickers as the quote for today. Also, I think it's important to use your stash because sometimes when we sit and create, we sit and create without the things that we already possess and then we go back and find things that we could have used. I am determined to use all that I have. I also am really intentional about using the color purple currently because purple is the awareness color for domestic violence prevention. And in the month of October, I honor that throughout my journal. Once I lay down some stickers, I label all the five areas for my five points and fill them in. And so here you will see a completed outcome. I take my last sips of coffee and make sure boobie's still okay. I am ready to step out and start my day. I hope you enjoyed this.